If one day you receive in your computer a file called sonic.exe, don't open it. In this file, you will find a horrible game that can change your life or even ruin it forever. This story started on a nice summer afternoon when Tom saw the mailman put something in his mailbox. He found the box and a note that said, Tom, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late and was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it, he's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game, it's what he wants. Just destroy it, please, Kyle. Despite the horrible note, Tom didn't listen to his friend. It was just a simple game, right? Tom installed the game in his computer and he noticed that it was the first Sonic game and he was like, awesome! But when he pressed start, there was a split second when he saw the title image turn into something much different. The sky had darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined, the Sega 1991 was now instead Sega 666. Sonic's eyes were dark and bleeding and they looked hyper-realistic. The character select showed only Tails, Knuckles and Dr. Robotnik. He decided to choose Tails. Before the game started, it froze for a few seconds and he heard a creepy laugh. Finally, Tails appeared in the screen and Tom started playing. What was odd was that as Tails was running along the lever, there was nothing but flat ground and trees. Suddenly some animals started to appear on the screen. They were lying dead on the ground bleeding. The music changed and Tails had a saddened look on his face and started crying. After a few minutes, Tails was running up a hill and stopped because he saw Sonic. He was floating with his back against Tails, who was getting closer, and Tom felt that he was in danger. Suddenly, Sonic opened his eyes and they were black with red glowing dots and an evil smile. The screen suddenly turned black, and then white text appeared forming a message, saying, Hello, do you want to play with me? Tails looked as he was scared to death. He was making gestures to Tom, as if he wanted him to get out of there as soon as possible. Even if the player and the character ran as fast as they could, Sonic finally catches Tails and blood started to come down Sonic's eyes. Just in a split second, Sonic launched at Tails right before the screen went black. Then Tom decided to pick Knuckles and this time the level said, you can't run. This level looked much different. It had the dark reddish sky and the ground looked like metal. When Sonic appeared in front of them, Knuckles looked very scared. He made Knuckles punch Sonic but he couldn't beat him. Then. Sonic launched at Knuckles and the screen went black with another distorted screeching noise that lasted for a few seconds. Tom shut off the game and took a break, but he had a disturbing nightmare. Tails and Knuckles were asking him why he gave up on them and he suddenly woke up. He decided to continue playing and he could only select Robotnik. This time, he was in some kind of pixelated hallway full of candlelights and a lot of paintings. Robotnik didn't look very nervous. Even if the walls had gotten darker and more reddish, the red torches were now blue. Suddenly, everything stopped, and he saw a very horrific image. The image showed a hyper-realistic Sonic standing in the darkness. You could actually see the lines of his blue fur. He had the most horrifying smile Tom had ever seen. Then he saw another horrible image. All the characters, Tails, Knuckles and Robotnik were dead and full of blood. Tom turned off the computer. He was really freaked out. He couldn't get the game out of the computer, so he turned the computer back on and he heard a voice right behind him. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. He turned around to see where the voice came from, and what he saw made him scream. A sonic plushie was smiling at him with blood stains under his eyes. Did you find it scary? That's normal. This story about Sonic.exe is horrifying. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Leave us in the comment section down below what would you like to see next time. Bye!